send me some sorry lines. But passion. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Polymer Clay TV. This week, we're going to talk about ACEOs and ATCs, and we're going to tell you the difference between the two. And we're also going to show you how to make a couple and also talk about air dry clay, hardy clay, and lumina clay. And um, the difference between trying to make a card out of polymer clay versus making one out of the hardy clay, and then we'll show you some other little projects. So let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, today we're talking about air dry clays. We have some hardy here and lumina, and we have this great book on it. Um, that is by Design Originals, and the artists in here are Donna Cato, Emmy Fukushima, Fukushima, <laughs> and Ting Yao Shen. So, some interesting projects that you can make with hardy clay. But um, as you heard in our podcast last week, <laughs> we were not as successful as the people in this book. <laughs> <laughs> we need more practice. But we're going to show you some of the things that we did make and how you can use them to make ATCs, which is an artist trading card, and ACEOs, which is artist cards, additionals, uh, additions and originals. And um, the difference is you can trade ATCs, you don't sell them. But the ACEOs are saleable. You can put them in your Etsy shop, you can sell them to your friends, whatever. So this is a template that is two and a half by three and a half inches. It is made of cardboard and it is something that we purchased. And you're also going to need your clay and a blade and whatever other tools that you might use. Like for example, this one utilized a mold and some small rubber stamps for making letters. And there's also some inks and I use some, some of those little Kemper punch tools to make shapes and Elisa used texture sheets and a rubber stamp so you can do whatever you want to make these cards you can really go nuts with them and have a good time so Elisa is going to show you some of the things that she was able to do with the hardy clay yes now the hardy clay is this one and the consistency is very different from the lumina clay the lumina clay I would say is more like a polymer clay these are both air dry so they take about 24 hours to dry depending on the thickness of your piece but the lumina is translucent which is really cool you can add powdered pigments in there you can add glitter in there you could add ink in there you could add dye ink in there anything you want to change it this is an ATC I made using a stamp that you can find in our shop at polymerclayproductions.com and I tried to make an artist trading card but what happened was uh, it did not want to lie flat and that was my big big issue with this clay is that it, I couldn't get it to lie flat so as I started to stretch it back I wound up cracking it so these are just things that you have to be aware of when you're using this hardy air dry clay and one of the things I want to show you with the lumina clay and this is just a flat sheet and how I achieved this was I ran it through my pasta machine on the, the smallest setting and then I laid it down on my work surface and I rolled it even thinner with my rod because the object was for me to get it through one of these punches and if you do scrapbooking or rubber stamping and make cards and stuff, you've seen these punches. And they work really great with the air dry clay. And what I like to do is I like to just, I like to sit it in front of me and stand it up. It seems to work the best. And I like to just slide. Let me show you from the back side here. I slide my, my clay right in here and then I just punch. And then I have a little heart. Oh, I, it would help if I lined up the, the clay. And this is, this is the thing that was a little tricky, was getting it out. But I didn't line this up very good, so let me try again. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And there's my little swirl. You can see. And um, it just works real, pretty easy. And now on this piece here, I colored a little with the Copic markers. And I just took my marker and colored right in there. And you can change the color. And it gets a little lighter. Um, when you color on the back and flip it over, you can change the color, you know, because it's translucent. But the best thing to do is to f let your clay dry before you try to punch it. Because if you don't, you'll have a little bit of a mess. And it will get stuck in your punch. So, I, you know, I should have lined this up a little better. I wasn't thinking, but let me see if I can do it now. Just so you can kind of see. There we go. If I had lined it up right, the heart would have been complete. So, <laughs> you can see. 
exactly what I was talking about. And you could then paint on here with markers. The Copic markers work really good. You could even punch metal in the middle again if you wanted to punch out a whole, you know, maybe the swirl in the middle. If, so just play around with it and, you know, you never know what you'll come up with. Here's the Lumina one. Okay. Yeah. This pendant was made with, you put some inks in there. This is our, the passion, per, what is it? Purple passion? Mm -hmm. um, that's in our shop and it is so pretty inside that Lumina clay with glitter. And then she's got some teeny weeny little Swarovskis stuck in the little spines. It's really sparkly and pretty. Really and then, nice. Yeah. And that's the Lumina clay there that I just stretched out so you could see the difference. And the Lumina really feels like polymer clay. And it's bendy, it's not breaking, it's got that sort of same weight to it, yeah, it that does. polymer clay has. And yeah, this is actually the hardy clay. And I wanted to show you the difference with the hardy clay is you can just tear it. Yeah, it seems to have like a fiber mm -hmm. in it. It's almost papery. Right. But I don't know how, how to say it, a little bit more thicker than paper. Right. But you can achieve some really cool results if you, mm -hmm. you know, when you tear paper and you get that ragged edge, well, you can also get that with this too. Right. You know, you can keep tearing it and kind of just go for a look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've punched out some different things. There's a flower I punched out and I use cookie cutters too to create my name just to show you that I actually textured this first when it was a flat sheet. I textured it and then I added, um, no, actually I didn't add anything to it, but I could have added ink and I could have, um, you know, this, I was thinking this, this would be good on a scrapbook, you know? There's the eye in there. <laughs> and here's a little heart I added glitter to. And this is the hardy clay. This is the lumina clay. And this has a lot more weight to it, more like polymer clay. And this is very light. It feels like foam. Yes. Like that <laughs> kind of like floral foam. Yeah, and the thing is, the lumina clay is waterproof, and the hardy isn't. So you can't really wear something that might get splashed. Right, exactly. Yeah. But these buttons that I made, these little bird buttons, would be great on a scrapbook page or yeah. on a card or something like that. Mm -hmm. So just play around with it. You never know what you might come up with. And be sure to visit polymerclayclassroom.com for the full project. We're going to be showing how to make two ATCs. So come back and see us. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>